My name is Bob McGregor. I'm the Global Marketing Manager for Brookfield Engineering. I'm here at the AAPS show in Chicago on the final day talking to your beautiful audience. I'd like to give you a few words about the Brookfield Texture Analyzer, also known as the CT3 Tester. This type of an instrument is used by the pharmaceutical industry to test tablets and capsules to make sure that they have good integrity, to determine their fracture strength, uh, to see if they will hold up under various conditions of handling and actual consumption and chewing by the consumer. So let me show you, for example, one item here. Before I begin, I should point out that the CT3 tester is a machine that does compression and tension testing. So it can come down and it can either squash something or it can pull it apart. This particular mechanism right here is called a bilayer shear test device. So what I can do is I can put a two-part tablet into this mechanism or into this holder right here, and then I can come down with a blade and physically cut it in half. And what I'm trying to do is measure the adhesive strength between the two parts of the capsule. When they make those capsules, they usually press them together, and they want to make sure that those two halves will hold together. The one way that they can do that is to use this bilayer shear mechanism to see what the bonding strength is between those two halves. So when I cut it like that, this machine physically measures the amount of force that it takes to do that. So if you're interested, I'd like to give you a demonstration on another mechanism, which is called our capsule loop tensile fixture. And what that does is it measures the actual rupture strength of the capsule wall to see how much uh, pressure or stress it can withstand before it physically uh, breaks apart. I'm going to call Dave Larson in to give a little show and tell. Dave is now going to take a half of a capsule and he's going to place it on those two tines and those tines are both attached to cylinders which are going to pull apart at a defined rate. It's a very slow rate but the objective is to see how the stress builds up in that capsule wall and at what stress level it ultimately fractures and breaks in two. Dave has now started the test and the two tines are starting to pull apart and as they pull apart you can see that the force level is increasing which means that it's getting more and more stress build up in the wall of the capsule. The capsule is starting to stretch and to deform. And it just fractured. You heard a little noise, perhaps you didn't, but we could hear it up here and the capsule physically split apart. Is our test concluded now? One more millimeter. One more millimeter. And that's it. It physically fell apart because it split in two. So that concludes the test for the capsule loop tensile fixture, and it gives us a fair measurement of the actual stress that that capsule can withstand. So this can be used by quality control people on running tests on capsules to make sure that they meet the company specification for how much durability the capsule should have. Without these types of tools, the pharma industry cannot perform the relevant quality control tests on items that they produce on a day-in, day-out basis. Thank you, Michelle, for the opportunity to present. Uh, signing off from AAPS here in Chicago.